Ever wondered about Linux support for Qualcomm Snapdragon X Elite? Well, you're in the right place. Let's take a trip down memory lane to when Qualcomm unveiled the Snapdragon X Elite. This 12-core ARM SoC, clocking in at a whopping 4.2 GHz, was designed for what we affectionately refer to as mobile PCs, or in layman's terms, laptops. Now, what raised eyebrows was Qualcomm's decision to showcase benchmarks for not just Windows, but also Linux. This marked a significant departure from their usual Windows-only focus. With these benchmarks we were presented with a glimpse into the Snapdragon X Elite's potential performance on Linux. Yet, it left us with some unanswered questions. What kind of support could Linux users expect from this powerful processor? Well the picture is starting to become a lot clearer. But what does this mean for Linux support? Let's dive in. When Qualcomm launched the Snapdragon X Elite, Linux support was unclear. However, recent revelations have shed light on the matter. Linaro engineer Abel Vesa unveiled in a blog post that a fully functioning Debian 12 image, complete with GPU rendering and Wi-Fi connectivity, was ready just before the Snapdragon X Elite's grand entrance to the tech world. But that's not all. Vesa shared that work is now underway to upstream the code to Linux mainline, a two-part process that will enhance Linux support for this powerful processor. The first stage of this upstreaming plan is to provide support for a host of features. This includes Qualcomm Orion CPUs, a significant addition that will bolster the processor's performance. But that's just one part of the equation. The plan also includes support for clocks, interconnects, regulators, power domains, and pink drill providers, all crucial components that ensure seamless operation and optimal performance. In addition to these, low-speed I.O. such as I2C, SPI, and UART, will also be supported, adding versatility and flexibility. The Compute Reference Device or CRD and Qualcomm Compute Platform QCP boards will also receive support, expanding usage possibilities even further. It's important to note that at the time of writing, the interconnects, Pinktural and Power Domains had already been merged. However, details regarding the Snapdragon X Elite or Orion aren't visible in the change log for Linux 6.7, hinting that these features might be part of upcoming updates. The second series of patch sets will add even more support. This includes CPU FREC support, high-speed peripherals like PCIe Gen 3 and Gen 4, USB Super Speed, and embedded DisplayPort support. Moreover, GPU support and features for the Qualcomm Hexagon processor subsystem, primarily audio, will also be included. Additional features for the compute reference design such as trackpad, touchscreen, keyboard, battery management, NVM, and WLAN are also on the way. These additions are expected to be merged in Linux 6.8, assuming everything goes according to plan. It's clear that Linux support for the Snapdragon X Elite is on a promising trajectory, and we're excited to see how it evolves. The second series of patch sets is where things really start to heat up. This next wave of updates is set to enhance the Snapdragon X Elite's capabilities significantly. We're talking about adding support for CPU FREC, high-speed peripherals, embedded DisplayPort GPU, and the Qualcomm Hexagon processor subsystem, which is responsible for audio processing. Additionally, there will be extra features for the Compute Reference Design or CRD. These include the trackpad, touchscreen, keyboard, battery management, NVM, and WLAN. All these improvements are set to be merged in the Linux 6.8 release, assuming everything goes according to plan. But the tech world is not one to rest on its laurels. Future support for audio and camera functionalities is also in the pipeline, further expanding the capabilities of this powerful processor. Now there's something particularly exciting on the horizon. Imagine a future where Linux distributions such as Debian work right out of the box on X Elite laptops and computers. This isn't just a pipe dream. With commercial devices based on the Snapdragon X Elite processor slated for release in mid-2024, this could soon be a reality. This means that users wouldn't need to go through the hassle of manually installing Linux on these devices the operating system would be pre-installed, ready to use from the get-go. This would significantly lower the barrier to entry for those interested in using Linux-based systems, while also providing a more streamlined user experience. The implications of this are immense. It could potentially open up a whole new market for Linux-based devices, especially among tech enthusiasts and professionals who value the flexibility and control that open-source systems offer. The future of Linux support for the Snapdragon X Elite is looking bright. With these upcoming improvements and the potential for out-of-the-box Linux support, we're on the cusp of a new era in mobile computing. It's a thrilling time to be a tech enthusiast.
So what can we take away from all of this? The Snapdragon X Elite is not only a powerhouse but it's also embracing Linux support, heralding a new era for tech enthusiasts. With many features already supported and more being worked on, it's an exciting time for Linux users and developers. This new level of compatibility opens up a world of possibilities. Thank you for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to keep getting the very latest in tech news.